season. Time to grab that lunch pail and go to work. and ready for action. The Bulls, as they head to the locker room earlier, the hometown crowd certain to give them a warm welcome. Welcome and thank you for spending this holiday season with 2K Sports as we get ready for the special NBA presentation. This is Brian Anderson, Stan Van Gundy, and Grant Hill here with me. And in a few moments, we'll hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Let's take a look at the numbers for MP. He's been playing a larger role in their offense over the past five games. And we see that in his usage rate, which has gone up during that stretch. We'll see if they continue to lean on him here tonight. Grant, when you talk about these two teams tonight, I think it's fair to expect a barrage of three-point shooting. Oh, for sure, B.A. That's the usual game plan from both sides. It's going to be raining threes here tonight. And if they're falling, it's going to be a high-scoring affair. Looking at the starting five for Boston. The perimeter pairing is white and brown. Tatum is the four with Porzingis at center. And it's Pritchard in at the point. Here's Giddy. Following the bucket by Boston. Brown with the steal. Porzingis. Here's Pritchard. Porzingis sets a screen. Pritchard, the pass to White. On target from range. White's got five points. Well, yeah, White prefers a more head-on shot, but that doesn't mean he can't sink those corner threes, too. Williams with it. And now MP. Outside, Williams to the middle. Six on the shot clock. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Well, young guys rarely hesitate to throw it down when they can. MP is no exception. And so it's Tatum who brings up the ball for the Celtics. It's a three-point game. This game coming after a loss versus the Bulls. If you can't match up on the boards, you are not going to win games. That's got to be a big lesson from that game. Well, the lack of effort they showed on the glass is just unacceptable. And I'm sure the coaching staff will let them know about it. And Ball gets it to go. And I like the mix of power and agility Ball uses inside. One way or another, he's going to get a shot. And a 
Slam dunk by Porzingis. Punching it inside, attacking the heart of that defense. I love it. First quarter, just about two minutes in. Chicago with the ball. And this is a very difficult team to beat right now. 13 straight wins. Well, you look at the discipline, the way these guys play under control. They never get out of balance when they find themselves in a hole. They just continue to fight, play their game, and enforce their own pace. Pass to Brown. On the wing, Tatum. Sinks that one from the post. And a coaching staff has to be happy with how they've shot the ball here early on. And we'll have a timeout call by Billy Donovan. He wants to give him a breather and talk things over. And Don C is here tonight in Chicago. No surprise there. Yeah, not at all. A Chicago native who has actually joined the Bulls as a creative strategy and design advisor. His success as a sportswear brand creator and lifelong Bulls fan has given him such a cool role. Hey. You can't block it. Sending him to the line can be the next best thing. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Celtics. Well, our coaching staff has to be happy with how active they've been defensively, forcing turnovers and making the offense uncomfortable. And they've done a tremendous job just creating havoc defensively. Active hands have led to tons of turnovers that they've capitalized on. Now here's MP. Pass to Buzelis from the arc. Gets the trifecta. And he doesn't waste any time at all. Zealous got the ball and just attacked right away. One thing you can say about Boston, Grant, they know how to put a team together. Yeah, the Celtics' consistency of winning is just impressive, both now and throughout their entire history. They are really the gold standard in this league, and it's mostly because of great draft picks and great trades. Here's Buzelis. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. And the officials called goaltending, so they'll award the basket. Yeah, it was just a little late. I mean, he thought he got there, but the refs saw it otherwise. Chicago shooting their first free throw tonight. Well, when you watch MP, you can see the burst he has on the floor. Very explosive young player. Outside White. Outside Tatum. Porzingis, and the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Porzingis has got his second basket of the game. I love this approach, getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Yeah, well, his offensive contributions are going to be very important in this game, so it's good they've already got him in a rhythm. Size, explosion, he's a dangerous finisher, and we saw it right there. Chicago shooting their second attempt at the line tonight. Tied up with that one. Stan, it's hard to believe, but the Bulls have not won a playoff series since 2015. Well, look, Brian, it's hard to win in this league. And when you're rebuilding, trying to find the mix that'll get you over the top is a difficult chore. Long way from those Michael Jordan glory days. Nails it from three. Well, when you're as polished and practiced a shooter as Brown, there's no reason to hesitate. Outside, Williams. Back to ball. MP's double. Outside, Williams. Here's Buzelis. MP, the pass to Giddy. Shot clock at six. To the inside. The Bulls need to get off a shot. Marked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. And midway through the year, a perfect time to check in on our Rookie of the Year rankings. We're halfway to seeing who grabs the award. You look at MP, right in the thick of this season. He is the guy when it comes to Rookie of the Year. What a year he's having. And this is the type of player you have to be excited about. There's no question he should be at the top of the Rookie of the Year rankings. Well, no debate here. He's running away with it and looks poised for big things to come. Now here's MP. Had a career game his last time out. Bucket after bucket. William shot is good. This is what Ball is known for. A selfless player who is terrific at facilitating the offense. And Tatum's got the ball here for the Boston Celtics. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. Well, MP in their last time out against the 
Celtics put on a show. He had 63 points, and as you might expect, he was usually first up to clear the boards, hauling in those loose balls for the squad. A legendary performance that will be talked about for years to come. Unless he's able to do it again tonight. Brian? Outstanding, thanks. Impressive ability to carry his team to victory, Grant. Your B.A., I was really impressed. They wouldn't have won the game if it wasn't for his attacking mindset and will to win. Yeah, and we're likely to see them go to him early on. See if he can't replicate that performance. Now here's Ball. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. MP inside. Brown's there. MP shot is off. Tatum passes to Pritchard. Porzingis with a screen on Giddy. Here's Pritchard. Giddy defends. Boston, no good that time either. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Here's MP. Second shot opportunity. And he takes it up and lays it in. MP's got 10 points in the game. Well, when you have a guy scoring like he is, you redraw every play to be about getting him the ball. And Joe Mazzula calls timeout here. He's going to talk it over with his guys. Both teams deciding to change it up. And looking at the 2K leaderboard, here are the top glass cleaners over the past 10 games. MP, number one. Over these last 10 games, this guy has owned the boards, playing so well as of late. Chicago on D. Outside, Brown. Pass to Cornette. Six to shoot. Here's Hauser. And here's Brown for three. The rebound by MP. MP's got six rebounds here tonight. Giddy passes to MP. The Celtics making a switch here. Personal foul. Third team foul. Celtic substitution. Number 55. Giddy finds MP. Misses the baby hook. Boston trailing. Brown passes to Hauser. Brown inside. Hounded by ball. To the wing, right side. Pass to Hauser. Clock at six. And here's Brown for three. Pure from three-point range. Brown's gotten his second bucket on the night. And standing went undrafted back in 2021. But Wisconsin native Sam Hauser has worked his way into a rotation role. Well, Brian, everyone's looking for shooters, and he is a knockdown shooter. And at 6'7, both good size and plays both ends of the court. The Celtics have gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Giddy against Brown. Over Giddy. That went off the back iron and out. Chicago has gone two for four from range to start things off. And MP throws it down. Yeah, it's so rewarding as a coach to see a young guy like MP succeeding like this on the offensive end. Celtics trail by three. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, Billy Donovan had a few moments to share with me. We discussed Jalen Brown and what makes him such a hard player to defend. And Coach said to me, Jalen is a freak athlete and has become a really good shooter over time, too. We can't give him clean looks, and we have to guard him closely. Let's see if the defense is up to the task. Okay, thanks, Allie. Ball passes to MP. And they double up MP. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And now a five-point Bulls lead. Well, he's just dominating right now. If his teammates are smart, they'll keep getting him the ball. Here's Springer, pounded by ball. 
And last year was an epic season for the Celtics, obviously ending with their 18th title. Yeah, they were by far the best team in the league all season. 64 and 18. Timeout called by Billy Donovan. A moment to rest and confer on the game plan. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, Cornette passes to Porzingis. Giddy against Tatum. Porzingis up top. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Porzingis has got six. Well, hey, you set Porzingis up and he'll knock him down. Terrific off the cat. Josh Giddy out there with Kobe White. Then it's Moose Ellis. Then it's Patrick Williams. And it's MP in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. It's so sick, the vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop. Sends it home from three-point land. Three. He's got five. And they found a nice flow offensively here in the second period. Pass to Buzelis. To the paint. If he's doubled, the three is up. Buzelis, that one's good. Buzelis has gotten his second bucket. I think it's great to see that kind of confidence in a young guy like Buzelis. Pritchard, the pass to Cornette. Tatum against Giddy. Ooh, rocket finish from Tatum. Yeah, he's picking it up here in the second quarter after a slow start. Now White, checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. And stolen by Porzingis. Pass to Hauser. Down low. MP with the block. Yeah, phenomenal block by MP. You just can't afford to throw up anything weak around him. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots. <laughs> Lonzo Ball's checked in for White. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Boston. Derek White comes in for Cornette. Outside White. Porzingis sets a screen from deep. Chicago grabs the miss. If he's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Williams passes to Ball. Inside. Here's Buzelis. Williams from long range. Another three for Chicago. Well, you see the ability to get the ball where it needs to go is what really stands out regarding Buzelis. Here's Pritchard. Five points in the game. To the middle. Buzelis grabs the board. The Bulls have gotten seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second. To the paint. Getting it down inside. MP. Well, that's on the defense. How did they let MP get deep positioning like that? Boston has gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Outside, Brown. Porzingis sets a screen. Pass to Pritchard. Back to Brown. Five on the clock. Porzingis sets a screen. Downtown, Jalen Brown. And this has been the story for them so far. They've been lights out from range, particularly in this quarter. And we'll have a timeout called by Billy Donovan. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. Cornette's checked in for Boston. Chicago has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Ball passes to MP. Oh, MP with the hammer. And <laughs> now that's a momentum builder for sure. So important in a close game. Look at his teammates here. They love it. Plays like that going to get them going. Yes, yeah, some guys shrink in big moments, and some rise to the occasion. Porzingis misses. And Grant, we know the importance of the veteran leaders on a team, but 
Not every vet wants to accept a mentorship role. Very true, B.A. In your later years, that role becomes a blend of playing and kind of coaching. Not everyone is coming out for that. Outside, Brown. Pass to Pritchard. Cornette sets the screen. Here's Pritchard, pounded by ball. Pritchard, the pass to Porzingis. Three-pointer. Yes! Kristaps yeah, showing some is. range. Well, he's been very reliable tonight. Not wasting any chances. Really using his head. Now MP. And they double up MP. Yes, sir. And it's Ball with the assist that time. Ball's got three assists in the game. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Pritchard, the pass to Cornette. Here's Pritchard. 4-3. And again, Boston with the triple. Yeah, and guys, when White's got the ball in his hands, you can count on him to make the right decision with him. Pass to Buzelis. To the inside. It's Giddy on the wing. MP with it. Ball passes to Williams. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Austin leading by four. 58 seconds left in the second. Pass to Cornette. Here's Pritchard. Fires from 14. It's all in by the Bulls. MP's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Giddy passes to MP. The kick out to Williams. And it's Buzelis that time on the assist from Williams. Williams has got three assists tonight. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Right side, Porzingis. Down low. Here's White. Oh, MP with a block. Ball left side. Here's MP. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Yeah, some gritty stuff there by MP. Now he knew he was going to get hit. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. And in their last game, he really distinguished himself at the free throw line. Free throws good for MP. And he's shown a great touch at the line. They've tested the big guy, but he's come through. And here's Brown. Pass to Pritchard. Over ball. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. MP getting it done for the Chicago Bulls. Piling up the numbers that quarter. Already, he's got a double-double. We'll be right back with you shortly. Welcome, one and all. Before we hear Kenny and Shaq's insights on that first half, let's look ahead and check out the upcoming schedule. Glancing at the upcoming schedule when you guys played against one another, did you always have your games circled on the calendar? I mean, not really. I just assumed they would be an easy win for us, huh? Kenny, now you tripping. You know, I always give your teams the business. I know, except in the fact when you swept us. I should have known not to ask that question. And, as we review this first half for the Celtics, still anybody's game. We've talked about it in the past. They have a deep rotation that allows them to play matchups. So why aren't they ahead in this game? And I'll tell you why. The starters have to do more. Thanks, as always, for what... We're happy.
halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. MP really making a difference here. And given that he's just delivered a double-double through two quarters, I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night. Well, he's already put in a full day's work. They might want to lighten the load on him in the second half. On the floor for Boston. Pritchard and White at the one and the two. The core of this team, Brown and Tatum in the front court. And it's Porzingis in at the center position, locking down the middle. The kick out to Ball. Williams, a screen on White. The three from Ball. They get it again. MP. MP gets it to go through contact. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. Outside White. Porzingis with a screen on Williams. Pass to Porzingis. Misses the three. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Stan, we've seen a resurgence for Kristaps Porzingis over the last few seasons. What changed? Well, Brian, he really dug down into the numbers, identifying his best shot profile and really focusing on that. It's helped his efficiency. Outside White, Porzingis sets a screen. White can't hit. Stumbling to start the second half. Three straight misses. It's Williams, high post. Williams with the screen. MP, the pass to Williams. Now Giddy from behind the arc. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. And it's an eight-point Chicago lead. They're really settling into a nice rhythm now. Starting to gain the upper hand. Yeah, you're seeing their offense in a flow. Now it's time for their defense to turn up the heat a little more. Pass to Pritchard. Right wing. Forcing us against MP. Outside Tatum. Can they get it? Chicago with a rebound. Just enough of a shot contest to bother. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Jalen Brown is playing with so much confidence. He said, quote, I feel like I'm a different player. My body has changed. Athletically, I'm entering my prime. I'm more aware on defense and offense. I feel like on both sides of the ball, I'm playing the best basketball of my life. Well, it shows, Allie, for sure. Here's MP. Count it. MP's got 30. I just love the ball movement. Celtics trail by 10. And Joe Mazzula calls time out here. He wants to make sure everybody's on the same page. We'll stand for the Bulls. The DeRozan, Levine, Vucevic era didn't lead to the playoff success they hoped for. No, Brian. Two losses in the play-in tournament and just one playoff appearance which resulted in a quick first-round exit. The changes were definitely necessary. Right around three minutes into this second half. Here's Brown. Brown oh, catches in. A terrific finisher inside. Yeah, and they're able to get their first bucket of the second half after four straight misses. Outside, Williams. Three-pointer, Buzelis. Jalen Brown with a rebound. And Brown has got the ball here for Boston. That'll be the second of two games on the road. KP wrecks the rim. Well, if Porzingis gets within arm's length of the hoop, he's not going to make many mistakes. Ball outside. Giddy passes to MP. Launches a three. And ball with the basket on the assist by MP. Ball's got five points. Well, those go down for him in his sleep. Tatum finds White. Outside, Brown. Oh, Brown with the answer back. And he's really made his mark with the three-pointer today. And <laughs> that's another big one. And when you have shooters feeling it from distance, it feels like no lead is safe because points can get put up in hurt. And it's going to be a three-second call. A look at the NBA assist leaders over the last 10 games. Moving the rock with ease. MP third. He's making a lot of friends with the way he's been moving the ball. Setting up his teammates nicely in their favorite spots. 
Here's Pritchard. Give him eight. Outside Tatum. To the inside. Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Now we know he can hit threes, but Kristaps showing he can slam it too. Outside, Williams. MP inside. Working on Porzingis. Over to the wing. Now here's Giddy. Nine points in the game. Four on the clock. Williams passes to Ball. And again, hits the Bulls from deep. And Ball has gotten better shooting from deep. Defenses must honor his shot. Outside Porzingis. Outside White. Pass to Pritchard. Brown scanning the floor from outside the arc. And it's MP with the rebound. MP's got a 16th rebound on the night. Inside, here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. A mistake by the defense. You can't let Ball's teammates get open because he will find them. Celtics trail by nine. Outside White. Outside Tatum. Beyond the arc. It's not going to go for him. They are just owning the boards right now. Outside Giddy. To the middle. And stolen by Porzingis. Brown passes to Porzingis. Porzingis punishing inside. The assist. Chicago leading by seven. Ball outside. Pass to Buzelis. Here's MP. Defended by Porzingis. Outside Giddy. Now here's Ball. The three. It's rebounded by Jalen Brown. Here's Pritchard. Pounded by Ball. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. Well, he's called the unicorn for a reason. Porzingis doing unicorn type things tonight. And we'll have a timeout call by Billy Donovan. I think right now he must be looking at some adjustments. The Bulls making a switch here. White's checked in. And the Celtics also making a change. Hauser's checked in. The kick out to White. The three. The rebound, Celtics. Brown's got four rebounds now to the paint. Here's Porzingis, and a slam dunk by Porzingis. On the offensive end, Porzingis has been so dialed in, making the most of every scoring opportunity he gets. Williams finds MP, back to Williams. And here's Ball, to the middle. Here's MP, oh, and the dunk by MP. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Boy, cleared the path, put him in position for a prime time dunk. Well, give credit to the screener there. That's how you help free up your teammates. Pass to Pritchard. Here's Hauser. Just five to shoot. They set the pick. Off target with the three. Chicago leading by five. And here's MP. MP is doubled. Porzingis grabs the board. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. The drive by Brown. Oh, look at Brown fighting through contact. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh? Chicago has gone four of nine from beyond the arc since the break. Williams passes to MP. Lays it up and banks it in. MP's got eight points here in the quarter. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. There's a minute 54 left to play in the third quarter. Here's Brown. Drops in the layup for two. Brown's got nine points here in the second half. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. How about the bounce? 
We can call that bounce per ounce. Can't be denied. And Joe Mazzula has called timeout. He's going to gather the troops and talk it over. Stan, you look at the Celtics, as high-powered as they come offensively. No question, Brian. They can space the floor at every position, and any one of their starters is able to give you 20 on a given night. for Boston. Cornette checked in. Moving along. Two minutes gone in the fourth. Tatum passes to Cornette. Pass to Pritchard to take the lead. And it's cleared by Vucevic. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Kobe White out there with Ayo Desumu. Then there's Nikola Vucevic. Then it's Josh Giddy. And it's MP in at the four. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. He's been in total control offensively. And the defense has had no answers. Springer passes to Pritchard. On the wing, Tatum, covered by MP. Shot clock at five. And it's Tatum missing. Chicago leading by three. White looking it over. Pass to MP. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. The yeah, young guys can be so fearless. I mean, just look at MP battling there inside. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Well, they've really been sharing the basketball. All coaches talk about that, try to get their teams to do it. Really great when you see it in action. Yeah, another thing they did well was feed the ball into the paint. They really utilized their size there tonight. Just a great job of adding to their lead. Late in the game, every point matters. Tatum, the shot off that time. Oh, great D that time from MP. Outside White. Who poked away. It's stolen by Tatum. It's stolen by MP. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. He was all over that pass. That's a cautionary tale. Yeah, and you know they're tracking the tips and deflections because that tells you who's affecting the game. It's stolen by Tatum. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Pass to Pritchard. Here's Springer, down to five on the shot clock. Some solid defense from Williams. Bulls leading by four. Now here's Ball. To the inside. Here's MP. And it's good! He hits another one! Yeah, another extraordinary effort from him. Now, we've come to expect this as of late. Yeah, he's now tied for fifth most 40-point games over a single season, setting expectations extremely high. Knocked away and stolen by Williams. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Just good, aggressive play by Buzelis. Not shying away from some physicality inside. And Boston with some changes. Kristaps Porzingis comes in for Hauser. And it's Brown in for Springer. And you look at Matas Buzelis. Size, touch, feel for the game too, Greg. Oh, B.A., he's a connector. We all love seeing those offenses where the ball doesn't stick. He's a guy who keeps things moving. And here's Brown for three. Score it. 13 shots, nine makes. Three. Solid. Well, that brings his total to five makes from beyond the arc for the game. Feeling some confidence from range. Down low. Here's MP. And once again, off the mark by Chicago. And Porzingis has got the ball here for Boston. Tatum with it. 
Porzingis passes to Pritchard. Jacks up a three. The rebound by MP. MP's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Ball outside. Inside. Here's MP. That's another board. And he hauls in his 20th rebound. Oh, just dominating the glass. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Yeah, they need to pay attention to the details. Second chance points are backbreakers. To the paint. Here's Cornette. And that one is hammered home. Well, as his career has progressed, Brown really improved his playmaking. Credit to him for putting in the work. Ball finds Kitty. MP left side. Assist by Giddy. Giddy's got assist number five here tonight. Relentless in his approach. He has one thing on his mind. Close this game out. And Joe Mazzula has called timeout. He wants their game plan to be crystal clear at this point. For Cornette. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. During that last break, I heard Joe Mazzula as he talked with the team. He told them, quote, if we'd worked harder on the glass, we'd probably be up right now. Show some heart. Show some pride. It was a very direct message. Back to you guys. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Back to Pritchard. Let's it go from deep. Drills it from deep. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. To Buzelis, to the middle. Back to MP. Williams on the wing. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And the Bulls lead by eight. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Yeah, sometimes you get in a shootout like this, but you just hope that you can get a stop first. Check out Porzingis' energy. He's just relentless on both ends of the court. Pass to Buzelis. Down low. Just five on the clock. To the inside. Here's MP. Rebounded by the Celtics. You love their effort. They've owned the glass tonight. Williams against Tatum. Takes the three. And it's Kitty with a rebound. Kitty's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to MP. Down the first one. And he makes both free throws. Celtics trail by eight. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. That shot off the mark. Some solid defense from Williams. Finds MP. MP staying focused. Strong work down low from MP. He doesn't let aggressive defense throw him off his game. Here's Tatum. And the layup is good. Tatum's got five points now this quarter. It doesn't get any easier than that. The defense has to play better. Pass to Buzelis. MP inside, defended by Porzingis, and got it! Another basket! 
You know, only a handful of the all-time greats have more 50-point games than he does. He's moved all the way into a tie for fourth place on that list. It's himself and James Harden. And from there, only Kobe, MJ, and Wilt are ahead of him. Wilt may be hard to track down, but he's got the others in his sights. Bulls leading by 10. And this is a game they can build off of. They kept their focus all game long, and it will get marked as a win for the Bulls. All their efforts on the boards ended up paying off. Just two tough rebounding teams, but they gave the extra effort and were rewarded for it. And this will give them their 28th win of the year. And they've had their fingerprints all over this series, winning two straight and looking like they have this team's number. And what a huge performance it was for MP. And I love his composure. He didn't try to do too much or force things, but he was ready to take advantage of every opening the defense gave him. Well, Porzingis has a unique vantage point, so he can find those open guys others might miss. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Pass to MP. Oh, they get a hand on it. And out of bounds. Boston will have it. Boston Ball. There's 42 seconds left in the game. Here's Pritchard. Outside Tatum. There's the three. Chicago with the rebound. Now MP. We've got 22 seconds left in the game. Honestly, they're just down by too much to mount a comeback. Well, you want your players to keep playing hard, but let's be honest, this game's over. Yes, sir, and it's all with the assist that time. And so Chicago takes the win. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, they never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. And that'll do it, folks. Alongside Stan Van...